drive a go to put a few more turns on it. 34-year-old Kayla Barron never dreamed of becoming an astronaut until she met one in person. And I, I think if it wasn't for that experience, wasn't for the people who surrounded me and supported me, who molded me into a young leader, who helped me develop as an engineer, I wouldn't have had the confidence to even apply in the first place, let alone dream that I would actually get it. A graduate of Richland High School, she attended the Naval Academy, spent time aboard a Navy submarine, and then applied to become an astronaut. In early November, she launched for the first time into space. It was just an incredible experience. The Falcon 9 is an awesome ride, and we had a really smooth and nominal flight up into orbit. Measuring 356 feet end to end, the International Space Station travels around the world 16 times a day, giving astronauts 16 different sunrises and sunsets. Once the sun is fully blocked by the Earth, you get this incredible you know, sort of ombre effect from really bright orange to yellow to these really beautiful blue colors, cobalt blue and light, lighter teal blue. And you actually see the clouds lit up from an oblique angle. You were able to do your first spacewalk uh, just a couple weeks ago. Tell me what that was like. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, it was something that I was really hoping I would get the chance to do while I was aboard the space station for this mission. And so the chance to do it so early in my mission was a huge, huge opportunity for me and the entire team. And floating weightlessly beside Kayla is veteran astronaut Mark Vandehei, who's on a 12 month mission and soon will break the record for the longest time in space when he's done. His advice to the newcomers? I would say the biggest piece of advice that I gave everybody, the folks, especially not Tom so much because he had been here before, was recognize that we're all going to make mistakes and uh, be really kind to yourself. Uh, I remember when I was in the second grade, they asked, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? On my sheet of paper, it says, I want to be an astronaut. Obviously, I took a different career path, but for those kids that are out there saying, I want to be an astronaut or maybe the young adults that are in high school right now, what would you tell them? I would say find things that will push your boundaries, look for challenges, risk failure. Just recognize there's no one path to becoming an astronaut. There are people who are in our office who are incredible astronauts from so many different backgrounds, so many different academic interests, so many different professional interests. And so I think something that's really important is finding things that you're passionate about and that are challenging to you. What a fun conversation we had. Kayla will come home in the spring. Well, she'll uh, continue her work with NASA's Artemis mission that will return uh, people to the moon. You can watch that full interview. It's right now it's located on our YouTube channel. You can also learn how the crew spent Christmas in space. And you know? I'm thinking maybe it's not too late for you. I, you know what? Maybe when I hang up here, we'll just go and, uh, and apply for NASA. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure your wife and kids will be excited about <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Devin. We'll be right back.